It began with Lemonade by Gideon Steer, illustrated by Leanne Cho. It was the first Saturday of summer, hot as an oven with blazing blue skies. I hoped to sell some lemonade. I chopped and measured, squeezed and stirred, tinkered, tweaked, and tasted until I had something delicious. Then carefully I loaded my wagon and rolled outside to find there was no room for me. Not on my street, not on Bobby Tillman street, not on my grandma Rose's street, nowhere. So I kept walking, the sun scorched, the pavement sizzled, and just as I was about to give up, all my bad luck got worse. If you've never chased a runaway lemonade stand out of town, through the woods, and across a meadow, it's no fun. So when at last I reached the river, I was ready to cry. I sat for a long while feeling terrible as a turnip when from around the bend came something thirsty. I straightened up and hung my sign. Ice cold, I said. The old man tipped his hat. Lemonade, lemonade, I called out to the water and again from around the bend came something thirsty. Soon came things with paws and claws. And as I looked out from that riverbank, it felt just like a dream. One after another, they floated by, each thirstier than the last. Larger, stranger, sippers, slurpers. And I tried my best to keep up, but the river was still thirsty. So I chopped and measured, tasted and squeezed, and hour after hour, gulp after guzzle, this is what I called. Lemonade, lemonade, a glass for you, half price for two. Beat the heat, frosty sweet, swim on over, swim right up, for you and you, for all, get it now while it lasts. Last call, last call, last call. It took some time to fill those glasses, but fill them I did. And out beneath the sinking sun, we drank our lemonade. The whole way home I smiled, thinking of tomorrow. And late that night, deep asleep, I saw what it could be. Making and selling lemonade from life's lemons. Cool lemonade. The end.